Hiya, Rob here from Dotwob. Um, this episode we're going to show you uh, a bike that I bought in from Northern Ireland. Very nice, very original 1987 CR250. Um, they were, in my opinion, the best production bike of the time. If you compare the 87 Honda to the Suzuki, Kawasaki, Yamaha, etc. of the time, they were night and day better. And uh, this one's so original. It's got the usual problems, which I can show you. And uh, when it's built, we'll go and test it and uh, see how much better it is than everything else. So this particular 250 Honda, it's very low hour. It's got original paint on the frame. You can still see the VIN number, the sticker on the other side, which is a real good indicator for us if a bike's been messed with too much because once the frame's been painted you could be dealing with all kinds of weird shit we don't know what we're dealing with so that's a good start um it's very original i'm not sure it's ever been apart i'm not quite sure if that's the original front tire or not so what we're going to do is go through these had the problems um with time worse being the magnesium in a clutch cover water pump cover just rotted people left water in them and it's not good or people ran them without antifreeze at some point over the last 30 years, however old this thing is. Um, so I'll run you through that. So the issues with these era Hondas, 87, 88, more so, is the inner clutch cover is magnesium. As cool as that is, magnesium doesn't like water or even antifreeze in fairness. So you're better to drain it. If you've got one of these, just take the drain bolt out, leave it out, leave it empty. They are, they just rot. And if you see the rot that's involved, it, there's no repair in it. Uh, this one's been repaired in the past because these pipes are quite thin and they go bad there with the clamp. Um, this guy's inserted some copper pipe it will work. I mean, Jesus. Um, in fairness, the guy who sold me the bike told me it had a rotten water pump, so it's no surprise. When I dug it out, and I'm like, oh, it might be repairable, until I saw you can see daylight through it. And that's when the oil's milky, and you're like... <sighs> now, you can repair some of these with owl dye and whatever. I won't. Uh, I did some homework, searched out. You can still buy these covers, from these cases from Honda. Um, they're like £210 or something. But while searching it, I found from China, you can buy a replica one for like 45 quid. Got to be worth a try. So we've got one on the way and I'll let you know how it gets on. I mean, it's only got to do a job. So if that works, happy days. So we'll replace that casing. All the water pump um, is all blasted up nice, actually. That'll go again. So new seals, new bushes. We're going to run Honda Racing clutch ignition covers just like it did back in the day. Um, and so that will be the first major problem fixed on the bike. Apart from that, it's just um, aesthetics, really. It's make me, just make me happy. So as cool as this bike is, it hasn't got production front pipe on. It's got production silencer, which is very rare because they got changed out a lot. It's got DG front pipe. Not a big fan of DG stuff. It fits where it touches. It's heavy. Doesn't really work very well. So it does work and we will use it if we have to but i know pro circuit remade these for me a few years ago and i'm going to contact pc direct to see if they're going to remake any more or if they've got any plans to make them and see if i can get myself uh one of those made so hopefully i'll have a pro circuit pipe on which is what the likes of rick johnson and guy cooper and all those guys run back in the day so that's what i'm hoping for if not we'll have to use this piece of shit. So on this one, the bits that really attracted me are, like I say, the frame's not being painted. It's fine, a little bit of scuffing, that's expected. Really cool on this, these side panels. They're painted from the factory, which is really rare. They only did it for a couple of years. And even got the white overspray on the inside, which is how they came out of the factory. So that was really cool to find that underneath the backgrounds. It's got the original color scheme. I changed the sprocket because it had a goofy looking silver thing on. So we put one of our HRC looking sprockets on. I had one of these rear disc guards, so that went back on. We used to take them off back in the day because if somebody hit you and that bent in, your brake wouldn't work. So without it, if somebody hit you, you could have three or four pumps of the brake and get the brake back, hopefully. But that's cool because that's original. 
Uh, I went gold bars. Again, the black bars are on it look crap. So they should have gold bars to match the rims, really. Um, the front and rear fenders are not original, but the rest of the plastics is original Honda. Um, the front number plate has a background on it. It's not painted. Don't ask me why. That's the way they were. The carb wasn't in very good shape at all. Uh, I had to vapor blast the float bowl. It was so full of crap and throw half of it away. It wasn't very nice. So the carbs come back now. Um, we're not going to service the shock, even though the shock needs a new bump stop on it. We're just going to run it for a little bit, to be honest. We're not going to do too much to it to take away from the originality. Engineers over here. Where's my coffee anyway? I thought you would be coming. No. Carb the way it was, kid. It was horrible. Oh, like, oh. You know it's bad, you've got to vapour the inside of the float bowl. Then jets, don't even try and clean them. Fuck that. Mullard. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Front wheel's a bit sticky, but it seems to have come back now. So for you youths who don't understand what these forks are, a conventional 43mm um, showers, really good fork. Plenty of flex, they just match the bike really good. A lot of the faster guys back in the day used to run a, a WP front end. Stiffened it up a lot for the fast guys, but for your average Joe, these forks are mint. Uh, they came on the 87, they improved them for the 88, and it wasn't much of an improvement. 89, they went upside down, and they were awful things. Awful, awful, awful. But they did it because everybody wanted to look like the factory teams who ran upside down forks. But these are mint, they're 43 mil. A big worry on these bikes is you need to check underneath the gaiters, but these are absolutely brand new. The gaiters are original Honda, um, because the ones you buy, the aftermarket ones are quite hard plastic. They're not as good. And like I say, it's got an original made in Japan Bridgestone front tire. Now you can't buy made in Japan tires over here. So I think that's original. I don't think it's ever been off the bike, which is incredible, really. It's quite hard. So to recap, we're going to try and get a pro circuit front pipe for it. Um, front brake hose ain't the best. Uh, needs um, either cleaning up and some new heat shrink or a new hose. I'll have a look, see what we've got here. See if we can find something for that. It works fine. It just ain't the prettiest. Uh, we're going to put the new China made ignition cover, um, inner clutch cover, water pump cover. We're going to run Honda Racing, our cast clutch ignition covers just because they look cool. Uh, one of our HRC style front um, gear levers. And then we're going to go and run it up. And I think we might go and do a test. Uh, we've got an 07 CR250 on build, which is one of mine. So we might go and do a back to back 20 years on, see how, see how much they improved in 20 years. So we'll get our resident test boy <laughs> to go and do a few laps on both and put the stopwatch on them, see how they go. So that's it for this episode. It's all about one bike, really. We're going to do the jobs to it. Um, I might have to film that myself. I want to have to get Danny's talent in for that one. I really like it. And we'll see how it goes. But the bikes, I'm excited. It's a cool bike. I worked on these back in the day with like Mark Banks and Justin Banks. They're a cool tool and I'm expecting it to go well. So tune in next time you can see the finished product and we'll go and test it and see how it goes. Oh, I forgot. Uh, like and subscribe, all that, please. It does really help. Um, gets the numbers up and um, maybe we can start speaking to some sponsors at some point, pay for all this.